Alright, welcome back everybody, Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of Chronicle number one in our Mass Effect Legendary series. I just got my timer going so I can have an idea of how long I've been playing. David Al -Talak Talakani. So we're gonna go talk to this guy, and we're gonna try and push our main quest forward. You can see we've got Garrus and Tali with us. I should look and make sure, do we have any upgrades to make to either one of them? No. Okay. <clears throat> I brought them because we're expected to run into the Geth, I think. We saw your ship. Vid Dan wants to speak with you immediately. Who? Who's Vidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! Finally, Whoa. Some okay, uh oh, my pistol. Pistol's doing pretty good. Yeah, that shotgun hits a lot harder. A lot harder. Oh, okay. I feel like I can play like a Vanguard now. It, man, it took a while, and we'll have to see if it stays that way. I didn't really have to micromanage anybody. Uh oh. Yeah, this, this shotgun's hitting really hard. Everybody's doing good. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Okay. What if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? If we die of thirst, the Geth will surely kill us all. I remember this place, but I don't remember. I just remember kind of. I have memories of it visually and and stuff like that, but I don't remember any of the storyline. I fear the Geth will kill us all. Okay. The Geth are mounting another attack. Oh, lens flares are looking nice. I saw a video on YouTube that said we've reached peak lens flare, and it's true. We're really, games and movies are starting to really overuse them, but it doesn't, I like it. It doesn't bother me. I like the lens flares, but I've kind of always liked oh, them. Oh, Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. What? Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Hostile spotted! Okay, let's, uh... 
go back to the pistol, I think. Let's uh, maybe wait for shields to come back. I guess now I can maybe throw a AI hacking. I wonder what that'll do. And then that. Can't get the other guy in my sight, so let's just see what Tally can do. Am I getting hit? I don't think so. Can you overload him? Ah. Yeah, I did. Shields come back. I guess I can switch to shotgun. Then throw that recharge up. <laughs> Take that, evil tour. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get everybody armed up, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and bury her up. Oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, me acting like an idiot, just jumping out there into everybody, actually worked. We should update Vidan on the situation before we move on to wherever the Geth are bunkered. He's the closest thing left to proper channels. Uh, what key was it for Meta Jail? F? No, that's my melee key. R? No, V? Meta Jail deployed. There we go. <laughs> I haven't played in a few days. Yeah, I'm gonna update Fight On on how I can finally play like a Vanguard. Take all. Ah, now Iron Bucket told me that if the puzzle looks really complicated, look at the top. Because it seems like there's openings up there. When the bottom is busy, maybe the top is a little bit more open. I think that's what he's suggesting, to check that out. The problem is that that would probably work for me if I was on controller, but I'm on mouse, and I can't seem to get my mouse to go up there. Like, whenever I try to do the circular motion, right about here, it gets squiggly, and it'll it'll bring me back down here. So I don't know if I can accomplish that or not. Uh, yeah, see, there we go. Maybe I can shoot for right here. All right, well, it worked that time. But yeah, it's it's not very natural. It gets to a point where it wants to go the other way instead, and so I have to play around with it. And when you're on a timer, that's the last thing you want to have to do, right? So uh, that's why I, I've been playing with the bottom half of the arc. But uh, let's see if there's anything else down this way. 
to loot. It doesn't look like there is. Man, it, it feels like the whole crew was pretty uh, uh, strong too, because I didn't have to micromanage anybody. That we, everybody was just kind of using their abilities and getting into position and taking cover on their own. Uh, well, I don't know if they were using their abilities. Oh, oh. God. They're everywhere. Okay. Tally's got her shotgun out too, it sounds like. Think we're good, Commander. All right, good, good deal. Well, I said we should go back to fight Dan, but uh, am I able to even do that? Because it seems like I'm just progressing forward. We probably do have to go this way, but I, I, I want to check and just make sure, guys. This, this game's not exactly open world, so I'm pretty sure the direction I was going is the one that we're supposed to go in. But I want to come back up here to the, the tunnel that we were in and just make sure that I can't simply make my way back to Fidan. Yeah. Elevator presently out of service. The tower's secure, thanks to you, Commander. All right. Um, if you guys uh, hear grumbling noises, I'm sorry. I just ate, and that's that's what you're hearing. I'm trying not to let that happen, but I don't really see it coming. It's just my my stomach rumbling. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, happy to help. It's my job. I didn't do it for you. Let's go. Happy to help. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Well, let's go. Why? What do they want? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We well, don't this know lady's got doing. a little bit of a they mouth on her and maybe needs to be smacked five across the eyes. The Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Exogeny headquarters. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Davin Reynolds, okay. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. So that's probably what I was on my way for on course to do when we were pushing forward. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. 
What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the Oh, tunnels. my bad. We've heard this. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Let's talk about Zeus Hope Of and course, Carol. Commander. So... Tell me about your colony. Did I hear this? Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. Tell me about your Life colony. Is colonial. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Unlike okay. anything I've experienced before. So I've read these both these options now. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. I'd like to get to know Martinez better. She's got a axe to grind, and I'm the kind of person that I'll just grind it right there with you, but but I'm not necessarily looking to make an enemy of you. What I am doing is that if you're going to challenge me and get up in my grill like that, I'm going to return the favor, and I'm going to share that tone. But I'm, I'm looking to break barriers. Th the reason is because her personality type is similar to mine. Uh, I don't believe in frills or, or or in niceties. Let's just let's poke each other. Let's let's poke the bear. Let's do whatever's necessary to get everything on the table. I don't want to hear your diplomatic version of things. I want to know what you actually think and feel. And so I would be trying to push her buttons, but I would be pushing her in an angle of tell me what is going on that's got you so agitated. Why are you acting like this? You don't even know me, and you're treating me uh in a certain way what is what's what part of this story am i missing you know so i i would like to have but i don't think that's uh let's give it a I'm shot i'm grateful for what you've done but your heroics don't impress me commander okay fair enough tell me more about yourself arcelia i'm a rent-a-cop i was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at exogeny then all this happened i wasn't trained for this i didn't ask for it I just wanted to end. Well, listen, kiddo. I mean, I can understand that, and everybody's tired of things, and they, they, they want their lives to go well, but we're up in it, and I think you might have a little bit of hero to you. What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. All right. Right, right here, right here, this one. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. I think there's a little bit more to that, but... This is an individual that strikes me as having a lot of potential, but she's being a bit of a crybaby right now and feeling sorry for herself. I mean, you can either sit here and cry and be angry at yourself and the world around you and everybody around you, or you can choose to do something about it and understand that you live in an imperfect universe. That this is life. Life is a whole series of dealing with little one fire after another. It's never going to be a utopia. Tell me about Zeus Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Fi Dan if you want to know more. What can you tell me about Exogeny? I already Very asked little. about that. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. 
It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. There's a uh, part of her personality that makes me think of Jack from Mass Effect 2. She's angry, she's ticked off, she's butthurt over some things. Uh, she definitely has an aspect of feeling sorry for herself, in my opinion. But she's got a lot of get up and go, let's call it. She's, she's spunky, you know, she's energetic. And she's agitated. She she's agitated by the world around her, which Goodbye. means that she's ready to take some action. Commander. If I could recruit her, I, I would give that a I would give that some thought. I would probably want to talk with a few people on the Normandy, maybe these two right here and see what they think. But uh, it's not an option, so let's go look for the other people that we need to talk to I guess they're on the other side of this no they're over this way no okay I was right the first time Martinez some potential but that potential could go in either direction hello off-worlder I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. I hope you're not contagious. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... From the last attack, I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. All right. Hollis Blake. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. Accept what's happened. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. So we have PTSD going on. That's why she can't think. Oh, hold on, guys. I got a call I got to take. All right, guys. I am back. That took a little bit. Uh, the constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. So, yeah, she's dealing with some PTSD. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time time to absorb everything we'll be fine all right so we asked about this one let's ask about Do you Ferris. know anything about this planet just what i was told by colonial affairs it's a little different from what they claimed it, it's not all bad though when the geth are gone we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before a uh, colony tell me about the colony I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fi Dan if you really must know. Oh, right. Okay. Well, let's ask him why. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fi Dan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? Yeah, that seems a little cultish. I don't know about that. Personal questions. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. I have to go. Okay. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. I'm getting the feeling like there's a little bit more going on with this colony than meets the eye. Uh, there's potential for it. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen. He's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Yeah, see, everything filters. 
Thy Dan's clearly got that set up as part of the ethos of this colony, that if anybody has questions about the colony, send them his way. Now, he may have good reasons for that. We don't have enough knowledge to really be able to say. Why should I speak to Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. Oh, man. See, they're stonewalling me on this, this question right here specifically. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. I have to go. All right. So long, Commander. Was there anybody else I needed to talk to? Find the Alpha Varen. Find the Geth. You've discovered one of the sought-after data disks. Okay, that's Prothean artifacts. We're done with that one. And those are all under the assignments, which is the side missions. Get to Exogeny headquarters. Take the elevator from the Jews Hope down to the Prothean Skyway. Use your vehicle to make your way to the Exogeny headquarters and investigate the Geth activities. Okay. And then these two. All right, well, let's... uh. I think that might be everybody. Let me see if any other names ring a bell. We got May O'Connell. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. Okay, so we're picking up side you. quests. Thanks for your help. At least we have time. I'll hold this position in case those things try to attack again. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. <laughs> Do it yourself. She was a little bit snooty with that response. Maybe I should tell her that, <laughs> but nah. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fi Dan or one of the others. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. That's a reasonable Please, answer, actually. Help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. All right. I have to go. I wish you luck. I thought she was going to say, I wish you would. <laughs> All right, uh, Ledra. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here, too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. Um, this place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can't. How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. 
What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorat II Heranon Maldinest Gott Inost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. <laughs> Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorat II is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country. Maldinest and Gott are the city and district where I live. Oh, that's interesting. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. Okay. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Let's see if he's got any licenses. I'm at 242,000. Yeah, he's got a Heliot Armory license. And that'll do. Okay. Anna Murakami. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fidan. He knows the colony better than me. See, these people seem almost like they're drugged or something. Like, they, they can tell something's wrong, but they, they're not able to explain it. Something seems off. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... <sighs> I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. Oh, the yeah, captain, sorry. We shouldn't even be... I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those Geth come over the walls. Goodbye. Good luck out there. This work must be completed. This work must be completed. All right. They'll try to rebuild the command posts. Davin does what he can, but our food will run out sooner or later. Okay, so, um... Maybe Martinez doesn't have a personality issue. Uh, maybe she's just under extreme duress right now. Because uh, as I've, I've as I have spoken with the rest of the colony, it sure seems like they're under existential threat, and they're like kind of hanging on the edge of oblivion. And they've been up against it for a long time, waiting for help to show up. All right, let's go ahead and move forward then. Gun. I've got the shotgun out. Switch over to the pistol. What do I have loaded up in each of my main weapons? Okay, my uh, my shotgun is using shredder rounds, so it's better against organics. Shield bypass. Proton rounds. Mass supercooled subatomic particles capable of snap freezing impacted objects. I think I'd rather go with proton. What's tungsten do? Oh, there we go. That's actually what I'm looking for. 37% damage against 
synthetics. Okay, and then look at looking at my pistol. I've got uh, I've already got tungsten loaded up. Okay, that's why the pistol is doing so well. We could throw a kinetic stabilizer on there. Which my shotgun already has, so let's go ahead and equip that. Okay. And let's create a save point also. We're going to continue playing in this episode, but I want to create a save point here. I, I suppose I should quickly look at Garrus what do you have tungsten rounds okay and then your sniper rifle is using incendiary which I'm fine with you can keep that tally you kind of use whatever you don't have a specialization, if I remember correctly. So she's using armor piercing, which is a good against synthetics. Tungsten would be better. Her shotgun is set up for polonium, where um, maybe proton would be better. And then her machine gun also set up for polonium. And again, I'm going to go proton. Maybe cryo. Maybe cryo. There we go. Okay. Now, go ahead and save over that last one. So I think advancing along this line, which is where we were going before, is going to take us to whatever satellite link that that guy was talking about they have that's coordinating their efforts. Got a baddie on the radar. Two of them. Three. Enemy contact. Okay, everybody go shields up. Shield boost. for my shield to come back. Yeah, we're doing big damage Threat against them. Oh, look, man, we were really close. Oh, no way. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Okay. All right, thanks, Tally. Tally. Uh oh. Shield disabled. This right here, I want uh, disables enemy biotics and tech. Damages enemy shields. I'd rather go sabotage. Okay, this guy right here, also. Sabotage. We can't 
came out of that fairly unscathed. Holy smokes, we got a Krogan right on top of us. Ah, oh, shoot. I needed to go biotic. I need to put my barrier up. Okay, resume the last save. Two Krogans, huh? Alright. So those are organics. So my... I'm not going to hit them nearly as hard as I am the synthetics. looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. You guys are falling, right? Yes. Okay. This should create a, a better jump point for us. back up nope she's down uh, let's see go warp Shotgun. glitched out. Is that three Krogans? No, see, it's two Krogans. Uh, 
Yeah, that guy was glitched, man, because it seemed like there were three or four of them I was shooting at. Okay, let's go ahead and create a save point. Transmitter down, and my dude is uh, glitching. These people are brave, but the Gath are relentless. My people know this better than anyone. We uh. does this sometimes and I've not figured out how to get him out of it. These colonists may not have much, but this is their home. They will fight to the death to defend it. There, that might be one way. Holster weapons. Do I have control again? Yes, I do. Okay. And there's nothing else to look at over here. So where do I go next? That's that's the end of one side mission. We took down their transmitter. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, here we go. Now these are organics, so we're not really well suited. She just tossed Singularity. I'm gonna toss Throw. And now I'm gonna toss Warp. I missed. falls dead riddled with slugs this must be the alpha male the pack leader of these feral scavengers okay everybody's healed up again have you noticed that our meta gel is not putting us to 100 percent health i think that means that our health has gotten a lot higher Medium Krogan armor. Fuel compartment. Remove power cells. This old disabled vehicle is more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. Okay. Let's head back to the camp. Overall, I would say combat is going significantly better for me than it was in the past. How do I get out of here? So I came down this way. Regroup! And I must have uh, come up from here. Yes. Oh, jammed.
throw, AI hacking. Once my shield comes back online. Shield, shield, shield. Guy here. There's another. Open the water valve. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. Oh, okay. So we got more stuff to find. Well, there's not too many places for me to go. I don't think it was through here. Is there a way out of here that I didn't see before? I believe this is just a side compartment. I think this is where I want to make it to. So go back this way. Here's Tally and Garrus. And it's saying that we should be able to make it through. So I guess I just didn't see. There must be a gap here. There it is. But Garrus said there was more to Forma. find. Nothing there. Nothing there. Maybe I need to go all the way to the end of this hallway. I think that's what I need to do. Huddle up. You guys coming? I'm Huddle up. Way. Yeah, they're not following orders. On me. Redeploying. Okay. All right, now from here. It says I go forward and there's a passage to the left. On me. Looks like I'm on my own here. Let's see. Activate that. I successfully meleeed him. Ian Newstead. Hi, hey buddy. What's your story? You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, well, you're straightforward. That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Okay. Helps remind me I'm still alive. Wow. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. 
looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Ah! I'm trying to get to the... Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. <laughs> is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. All right. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Heads up. So are we at the end of the, where are we at? Well, this is where we're at. Maybe this section needs to be explored right here. Make sure there's not a tree over here. No, I can see into it, so. Can't get into it though. Oh no, my bad. This is it. Is there anything to click? Form up. I think we're finished. There, that did it. The system is active. Rally round. Yeah, they're glitched out. Okay, well, we're going to RTB then. We're going to go talk to Fidan. I get back. Oh, I have to actually go through here. I think I'm going the right way. Get the pistol out again. It's better for range. Elevator to Prothean Skyway. Well, I was wanting to go to fight Ant. Here is Zhu's Hope. So, if I go down here, am I moving in the right direction? Yes. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? 
Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. I'll talk to you when I learn <laughs> more, luck, Commander. I think, uh... Commander? What yeah, can I this one. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. I hate this answer, but let's go with it. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. All right. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? Getting rid of the Geth in the tunnels helped us immensely, Commander. But there are still some other mundane necessities, like food, water, and power to think of. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Let's, uh, let's go do that then. It says we still have a quest to hand in to him, but, uh, I'll come back to him. Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I'll just pay up. No. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. Okay. Let's go this way. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. Okay, so I think that was all of our side quests. She had something to say too, but I don't think it was a quest. Hello again. Is there something I can do for you? Goodbye. Good luck out there. So now we'll talk to Fidan again. Unless... Commander, what can I do for you? I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Uh, that little exclamation point is gone, so I guess what we have to do next is the main mission. Prothean Discs, Missing Marines is done, Battle Science 3 and Insignias, Sorry Writings, Valuable Minerals, Citadel, Citadel, oh that's right, I did run into this guy, but I, I was, it was whenever I was off screen, so I didn't do anything with him, so that, it's not been advanced. Okay, so, we're right here get to exogeny headquarters that's what we're going to do in the next episode we're going to create a save point now and again i'm aesop grim thanks for coming by the channel i hope you like what you saw i hope everything in your neck of the woods is uh, going well and i will see you in the next episode where the story continues